One Trunk Theater is at it again. Known as one of Winnipeg's most wildly imaginative theater companies, they're preparing the launch of a new series of plays, radio shows, and concerts all under the title of 204 FM. Andrea Sardison is the artistic producer of One Trunk, and she's here to explain this rather large enterprise. Hello, Andrea. Hello. So what is 204 FM? 204 FM, uh, we've been working on five new episodes of a radio series. That's a It's a consecutive story. Um, it's going to take place at the West End Cultural Centre every Tuesday, starting this Tuesday. But um, each each day, our, our cast of players is going to be uh, joined by different musical guests who are going to perform a concert for our live audience and also be integrated throughout the radio show. Okay, so you've got um, the actors, and then so you're recording it to play on UMFM, is that yep. right? Okay. And who are the – like you have a little concert before the performance? That's right. So, for example, on Tuesday, we have William Prince. He's going to open up the evening with a half-hour set, and then we're going to switch over the set and then come out and perform our very first episode sort of the radio play, but William Prince will also play along throughout the radio play. So you're doing the radio play live, mm-hmm. and you're, you're doing it with live sound effects too, That's right? That's right, which yeah. has been half of um, the fun throughout this whole process of writing the shows, is how we can incorporate some very strange and interesting sound effects and how we can make them alive. Now this play, what's the story that it tells? It's pretty wild, right? <laughs> yeah, it's wild. We, I mean, we've been writing this together collaboratively, so when you get a whole bunch of people in a room, you never know who, what people are going to bring to the table and what it's going to be. So our story now is the story of, uh, of stuckness in Winnipeg. Um, which Sorry, what does that mean? <laughs> that, mean that we're stuck? That we're, Feeling people, stuck? People People can't, in our story, people can't leave Winnipeg even if they want to. Even after they've died, they're all still here. So, and we, we theorize that this is because the god of travel, Hermes, has been turned into the golden boy and is sort of radiating stuckness because he himself can't travel, so he's not letting anyone else go. So we have these heroes who are uh, everyday Winnipeggers who are experiencing and learning about the story of Hermes through a wild adventure into times past. And Stephen Juba makes an appearance? Stephen Juba's there, Nellie McClung's there. Burton Cummings, you know, we're all, we're, we're all going to be there. The yeah. Grey Nuns, yeah, uh, Francis Cornish and Lord Gordon Gordon and all sorts of fun people. <laughs> so, what, like, how does the story work? <laughs> well, you're going to have to tune in to <laughs> find out. Hey, come on, I already work on the okay, radio. Okay, okay, so... Uh, each episode, like, for example, on Monday, we have uh, the story of McKenna, who's this teen who really wants to go to BC and do tree planting for the summer, but her mom thinks that that's too dangerous and a little too crazy. So McKenna is is, is upset because people are kind of trying to hold her down all around her, and uh, she does Purple City at the ledge, which is where you stare into the lights at the ledge, and then you look up and everything turns purple. It's is a real how, thing. Yeah, real thing? Yeah. yeah okay. And uh, suddenly she starts to see things in Winnipeg she's never seen before, and she gets on Stephen Juba's monorail, a monorail he was never allowed to build in real time, but in our story it actually gets oh, built. Oh, you built it. Okay. Yeah, and she rides you're, you're around. You're very wise. <laughs> yes, I know. And she rides around with him for the for the episode, and she learns about the gray nuns and all sorts of stuff. Okay. And uh, where, how does Burton Cummings come into the thing? <laughs> Burton Cummings is the only character in our story who can live simultaneously in the real world that we all see and in this place we call the Negosphere, which is where all of these magical things like the monorail and and uh, and other past characters also live. He's He lives in both worlds at the same time because <laughs> he's timeless. I'd love to play Burton Cummings. <laughs> sure, come on down. I haven't got the mustache for it, though. Okay, <laughs> It's now, radio. You don't need it. Uh, well, all right. You can give me a mustache. For it. <laughs> but now you describe this as a hilarious roller coaster ride through time, winter, social mysteries, and many vacant floors of the downtown bay. Yeah, we have a whole episode in the downtown bay. <laughs> you do? <laughs> yep, we do. <laughs> okay, now you were at the rehearsal yesterday and recorded a bit of it for us. That's right. And so uh, what are we about to hear? Well, this is the very first scene of 204 FM. So this is the scene where uh, uh, the golden boy becomes a golden boy. It's Hermes gets locked in gold and becomes the golden boy, which kind of puts this little bit of a curse on Winnipeg. Okay, so let's have a listen. Our mortal plane. Thanks, guys. I'm just super chuffed to be here. Oh, great god of wonder, god of commerce, god of exploration and adventure. Come on, I haven't gone all day. We, the Masonic Order, call upon you to play. 
bless this our new bridge on the Seine, so that trade, profit, and commerce may flourish here in our great city of Paris. Oh, cool! Well, you called the right guy. That sort of thing is totally my bag. Just let me crack out the old blessing hands. Congrats, your bridge is now ultra blessed. We thank you all, Hermes, and as a sign of our gratitude, we present you with this, an enormous ice cream cone, and is custom with our hermetic tradition. Oh, super cool! I love ice cream! We know. My lord, we have studied the lost text very thoroughly. We have built this bridge to the exact specifications laid out by your ancient followers. Yeah, those guys were the best. Take note of the stonework, my lord. The rocks were forged from the Olympian quarries, just as you asked. This is all seriously top-notch. Listen, dogs, I'm gonna peace out, but do you mind if I take that gold wheat thing with me, though? I got some redecorating to do, and it would be super helpful. Oh, you mean the antediluvian wheat of Midas? Of course, my lord. Let me just fetch the gauntlets of impunity so that you may handle it with safety. You see, the artifact traces its glorious history back to King Midas, who, as you know, was cursed by the gods so that everything he touched turned to gold. As a result, the sheaf of wheat carries the same Yeah, 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 it's cool, whatever. I think I'll just grab it. Uh, thanks, guys. Oh, real great work, Sally. What? I offered him the gauntlets, didn't I? He's turned into some kind of golden boy. Oh. Now he's stuck like that. Shut up, Dan. I offered him the stupid gauntlets. I followed the ancient texts. I didn't even bring up the fact that he never wears pants. It's not my fault that he tried to mint the antediluvian weed of Midas. How was I supposed to know that he would mint the antediluvian weed of Midas? It's not my fault, Dan! This is bad, guys. We really bumbled up this time. With Hermes magic trapped in that statue, it's bound to get weird. Hey, guys, I feel funny. Like, uh, like I kind of hate myself. Me too. Like, I feel all my motivation slipping away. It's the statue. Hermes' power is being subverted. Before long, all of Europe will be under its fell sway. Not to worry, not to worry. We can't free Hermes, but we can stick him somewhere that no one will think to look. <laughs> Good morning, Winnipeg. You're tuned into 204 FM in the morning. Your source for traffic, weather, music, and home of the patented 204 FM fart keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? I'm so sorry. The patented fart keyboard. Yeah, it's a, we have a um, a kind of <laughs> lame radio host character that reappears. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hermes. He's quite the dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So, like, where did that uh, the idea for all of this come from? Uh, we well, one trunk. We create everything from scratch. We create it all new, and we create it collaboratively. So, um, we assemble a team and kind of have this goal of making a project before we know what the story is going to be. So we had this team in the room. Um, we started working in the fall. We, we tried to see how many different soundscapes of Winnipeg we could create out of nothing and, and, and found materials. And from that, there was, you know, certain bits like the bay that really stood out for us or uh, the golden boy that we wanted to be a theme and, and different ideas. And then through a lot of improv and conversations and writing and just playing around, this story emerged. But it's just because of the brains that are in the room at the time. And whose idea was it to get the musicians involved? That was my idea. One Trunk, we also really like to collaborate with artists outside of the theater canon, theater medium. So, uh, so, and, and I used to work at the West End, so I'm I'm well acquainted with the the music scene here in Winnipeg, and uh, and think it has a lot to give to what we're creating on stage. So and we, so, you're performing this at the West End. That's right. We're performing it in the small room. Uh, at the West End once a week, and uh, is that the small room off the lobby? Is that yeah, the one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it'll be kind of it'll be very cozy for people. Yes, and so this is uh, what five Tuesdays starting this coming Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, yeah, and then we'll release it online probably the Wednesday or Thursday following, so people can follow along if they can't attend yeah? every episode, and then it'll oh, really? also be on UM FM. Yep. Oh, nice. And so, uh, what's it cost? It's $20 per night or $50 for the whole series. So if you buy the $50 series, you save a lot of money. That's right. It's half price. It sounds great. <laughs> Do you appear in this? Uh, no. No? I don't. <laughs> I'm going to be there having a beer in the back. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have to go and see who plays Burton Cummings. This is so <laughs> Andrea, this is great. Congratulations on another what sounds like magnificent work. Thank you, Terry. Already. Thanks for having me. That's Andrea Sardison. She's the artistic producer of One Trunk Theater. You can catch 204 FM every Tuesday beginning uh, this coming Tuesday, April the 26th through May the 24th at 8 at the West End Cultural Center. Tickets $20 per show, $50 for the series. If you want to buy a series pass, you can visit West End, the West End Cultural Cultural Center's website, WECC.ca, or OneTrunkTheater.com for tickets.